timed with yesterday's start of National People's Congress, American NGOs Freedom House and China Aid held a joint press conference. They asked what are the main human rights challenges in China today, and importantly, what can the U.S. and Europe do about it? Nothing angers dictators quite like being held accountable for their crimes. That's what U.S. Congressman Chris Smith said on Tuesday in Washington, D.C. At this event, with Chinese human rights defenders in attendance, he raised a way to discourage perpetrators of serious crimes, like persecuting human rights lawyers, by blocking them from getting U.S. visas. They were not kidding. If you're an abuser, if you treat Chen Quanjin or Gao Zhejiang the way you do, we encourage our embassy and everyone else to feed into the creation of lists that will then put those people on, on a banned list in terms of coming into the United States. In 2012, U.S. lawmakers passed the Magnitsky Act. It blocks certain Russian perpetrators from getting U.S. visas. The challenge is to make it more international, further reaching, and of course, actually get implemented. That's where the European Parliament comes in. What I'm trying to establish is whether we can have some sort of transatlantic cooperation, especially in relation to countries like China. By targeting specific abusers, Macmillan, Scott and Smith hope they will discourage others from participating in future rights violations. The uh, U.S. Congress adoption of the Magnitsky Act, I believe that should apply more widely, that uh, where those who are oppressing people like Gao Xisheng, torturing um, in China, should not be allowed visas to the United States or to Europe. In time, he hopes they'll also be punished by the International Criminal Court.